Wow, what an amazing day today in Melbourne. Let's go and explore. It's 12 noon, guys. My favorite time of the day. Blue skies, absolutely magical, stunning. I love it. Feels just like spring. Spring is everywhere. Even though the figs are still bare. I've got the evergreens to remind me of um, summer, like this star fruit here, the tangerine or tangelo, the fijoa guava there, and the loquats all the way back there, the macadamia and the avocado. and uh, so much more it's beautiful so I keep reminding you guys to go tropical or go tropo so that you don't have these uh, bare trees such as this plum here see this plum that's all you're gonna have and that plum over there it's all you're gonna have if you don't go tropo Let's, let's take a look at the temperature here under the ice cream bean. All right, it's, uh, ooh, not bad. What's that? Almost 15. Yeah, almost 15, guys. Not bad. They did say there would be nice weather this week and they got it right. They sure did. With uh, beautiful blue skies. Love it. This is uh, my lemongrass, which I've had all winter outside here in a pot. Seems to have done well. Let's check the temperature in the greenhouse. Ooh, pretty hot in here. Oh my gosh. Whew. It's like a sauna. Whoa. What's that say? 28. Celsius. Wow, that's as hot as Darwin. Darwin weather in Melbourne, guys. So, a lot of happy fellas here in the greenhouse. The weather will uh, improve now, slowly, once August comes. August is like our... is like your... Um, um, February is it February? Yeah, February in um, Europe or um, the United States all the tropicals are absolutely thrilled with this um, warmer weather that's coming and uh, the mango there's got a new shoot coming and um, the abu seems to be doing something. It's hard to tell though. It's a mixture of um, um, new growth that failed and um, 
old growth. So we'll be seeing more of these in the days to come. Rulinia looking happy, even though it's had uh, quite a bit of cold damage there. But uh, at the same time, it's getting all these new, new, um, new growth coming. All right, let's see what we're gonna um, show today. Today's video, guys, is gonna be all the way back down there. Look what happened overnight. Pomelos fell. Tree ripened pomelo. And there's still so many of them. The video is not about the pomelos, but I just happened to walk into them. So this is their time now, August. However, we're going to be climbing this ladder here to show you what I believe to be um, almost ready to pick the uh, ice cream bean this is the ice cream bean tree and it looks to me like there might be some beans ready we'll find out there you are see them Let's grab a couple and see. There's some more up there. It's very high though. It's about 15, 15 to 18 feet up from the ground. So, and there's others up there. So, I'll see what we can do. Okay, using the uh, extended looper and uh, this little step ladder, I was able to reach and these two fell. I'm trying to get one more. So here they are. I picked three of the best ones that I could see. They look ripe. I'm guessing they're fully ripe by the um, black ends. See the black ends? Well, this one here doesn't have much of a black tip, just a little bit. But, um, well, we'll find out when I open it. All right. There's another fat one up there. That's at the highest point though, about six meters. See a couple more. Gee, they're sort of uh, revealing themselves now. There's a fat one there, and again, that's right in the core of the tree at the top. And another one up here, short one but fat. Well, it looks like three of them. Yeah. So I'll try to get one or two more. Okay guys, I'm uh, stepping on the ladder now, but I tried to reach out and I couldn't reach the ones I wanted to get, which are um, right in, um, where is it? Yeah, very hard. Yeah, that one in there, that's the one I want. 
can't reach even with the uh, extendable loper that one looks very fat short but fat I can reach these ones here but these aren't ready this is the cherry moya here <coughs> which is um, <coughs> which has grown really really nice in the last 11 years I'm hoping uh, big things from it to come after all this time all this waiting so This is the pomelo and that's the tamarind. So it looks like I'm gonna have to just use these ones for now. There's more coming and eventually they do drop. But the thing is when they drop to the ground, that's usually past their prime. When they're either, well, it, it can be either fully ripe, perfect or spoiled, rotten. So you take that risk when you wait for them to, to drop. Um, so let's get to it. I'll open the, the biggest one. The one that seems to be going by the, the color here. The most um, developed. We'll find out. Remember guys, this is only the third year I've had um, fruit from this tree. So I'm still learning myself. Okay. Looks a little dry. Looks a little dry. So, I was expecting a lot more meat on the um, on the beans. A few of them have already, um, well, actually, I think all of them have already uh, germinated. So, pretty good for planting out but that wasn't my intention today my intention was to um, taste the fruit there's a bit of meat there let's try that so that's all the meat with the beans pulled out not much not much at all Let's open the other ones, see if there's a difference. So far I'm not very um, impressed. The other two seem to be pretty much the same. Right? Seems to be the same. Just a lot of um, germinated seeds, which is good for planting these out. That's for sure. Um, this one here seems to be more fleshy. So that's the one I'm looking forward to. Looks a little juicy too. Yeah, that's what we want. We want this, guys. We don't want, um, well, that first one, right? Wasn't impressed by that at all. Even though it was the biggest. So let's strip all this out. Yeah, this is the, the second one. Not very impressed at all. It's hardly any meat. Lots of nice um, seeds to plant, as with that one. But where's the food, guys? Not much food here at all. Let's try. It looks dry. They're just um, basically the shells. All right? That's what we're dealing with here. Just shells, empty shells very dried out so really not impressed at all mm, this one looks a little meaty let's try that mm, yep juicy and that's it I think these ones are pretty pretty um 
well, let me try. Mm. Sweet. Crunchy. But um, not as good as what I had last year. Yeah. Mmm. Nah. This final one here seems the most um, promising. Yeah, definitely. Right? You can tell. See the juiciness? That's what we want. We want that. We don't want these. See these empty cavities? So, that's what we wanted. That's the ice cream bean that I um that I'm after. So still a learning curve. It's only the third year. And for those who are new to this channel, this tree is um, six years old. Six years old. I had it in a pot for the first year, and it's been in the ground for the last five years. Yeah, I just loosened a little bit of the flesh in its um and I tasted one. Perfect. Juicy, sweet, very good. Right? Very edible. So one of the three pods is um absolutely perfect. So and they look the same from the outside, so it's not like it didn't look right or it did look right. It looks like it's um hidden miss. So I pulled all the meat out now. Look at that. Empty. And there are its beans. So, taste test. Hmm. Yep. Cotton candy. Or as we call it in Australia, fairy floss. There you go. Ice cream bean. Inga edulis. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Be sure to comment and give your experience. Or ask any more questions that you might have. And um, please like, subscribe. And share these videos, especially if you're in a temperate climate zone. Okay, we'll see you from the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you soon.